What's up guys, Ankle Spangin here, and today my shirt might kind of, you know, mess up in the video, and I apologize in advance, because it's a green shirt with a green screen. But anyways, we are playing Galio in this game, and this is a champion that, well, I haven't played in a little while. Very fun champion, though, very, very fun. And we will be seeing how it goes for us, because... You know, a lot of you guys are like, Galio top! And I was like, wait, no, what if I don't play Galio top? And what if I play Gla <laughs> Galio? Galio mid! So I've decided that we will do that this game. Mommy wants a foreskin. Next, please. But, with, um... I do. I want to apologize to you guys right real quick because my internet's been being so shitty. It's actually been making everything super inconsistent. My stream's been crashing. I've had to kill like four recordings. It crashed in the middle of ranked. It's been very, very obnoxious. Um, so that's why my videos may have been inconsistent with timing or, you know, one might be late, things like that. So anyways, like I said, um, playing Galio this game should be an interesting one. He's not a very uh, popular champion. He's not a bad guy at all, but he's not super popular because of the fact that... Um, People can actually buy Mercury Treads, and then after they get Mercury Treads, they can just walk out of your ultimate before the full duration goes off. But it looks like we'll actually be against a Kale mid today. Very... haven't seen one of those in, well, since I played it. So this will be something else. So let's, well, let's just do our best. Kale should be auto-attacking us quite a lot more than she is right now. But that is, you know, that's okay. I'm okay with her not doing that like doing the exact opposite so let's go ahead and just well keep on CSing for now and one thing I was thinking about was um you know recently my commentary how the hell did first blood art top Ezreal getting first blood top Ezreal getting first blood on fizz all right I'm not exactly sure how that all happened but top Ezreal you know, let me say it again for those of you that may not have caught what, what I just, like, said and heard myself. Top Ezreal got first blood onto a Fizz. So, a little odd there, but it is what it is. So we'll just keep on worrying about our lane, because this top laner is actually a super homie, apparently. We found out in Champion Select, because he w <laughs> we queued as four of us, actually, and it was just him as the random and he was like mid and he called it before me like a beast and then I was like ah oh, fuck the one roll <laughs> and he was like you know what I can top so of course you know my man Fizz up there will be helping us out here but looks like Lee Sin will be getting a good gank off on bottom securing a kill onto the Thresh unfortunately obviously that's not very good for us but you know we're still doing fine in our lane and right now that's what really matters. So, gonna unfortunately miss that minion as well. And ooh, get that one. So 21 to 14. We're actually out CSing um, the Kale, which is kind of interesting. Oh wait, they have a Lee Sin. What is this game? Ezreal top Lee Sin support. Maybe I can help out here if Next even needs it. So, whatchow? That's gonna. Oh, the flash. What are you flashing from, little boy? All right. Bop! <laughs> I didn't want to flash for that, but I wasn't sure if I was going to get it in time um, before, you know, like, Kale came and healed her or something. So, better safe than sorry, just flash, bopper, and, well, get right back to lane with a red buff in hand and a kill. So, very good for us. And now, you know, that'll definitely be a little bit of an advantage, I guess. Kale? You okay there over, over there? Kale? Bap. Blech. And... Blech. Ah. Blech. Okay. So... Did Kale... Okay, there she is. Alright. So... Welcome back, Kale, to the game. Because I guess she was... Just uh, gone for a little bit or something. Oh, no! Next! Why be so rude? So he's just gonna... Oh, oh, this, oh this poor little girl. And the heroic smash and the bop. Poor, oh, poor, poor Elise. So, it looks like Kale actually left to try and help out and actually will get the kill. So, you know, 
Thanks, Nex, for being a dirty feeder dog. I'm actually totally joking. I don't care. But we're going to back here and go grab Chalice and Boots. So Chalice and Boots, my teleport is up. I could try and teleport down bottom. But I think I should just wait to teleport until I have my ultimate. Because after I get my ultimate, my teleport's going to be much more effective. And we'll see from there. So one thing I wanted to ask you guys about. For my very, very, very like long-term fans from a very long time ago, you guys would know that my commentary style has shifted slightly um, over time. I have grown more energetic, I've grown more outspoken, anything of that sort. And I was wondering, because obviously, obviously, not everyone's, you know, well, pretty much no one is entirely the exact same as they are on camera. And with me, it's not much different. I'm, I mean, I'm pretty similar in terms of everything normal, but uh, as far as, you know, say, my energy levels, I'm just simply not that hyped up about everything in life. No one is. What the hell? Who would be? And I was kind of wondering, what you guys would think of me, like, just settling it down? And going back to my roots, kind of just chilling out and, you know, saying what comes to mind, but also just chilling. So, let's go ahead and pop this. We are getting ganked. And let's go ahead and just walk this way. Well, there it is. Drop the ultimate. I'm going to die, but, you know, unfortunate. So we are going to die there. And, wow. That ultimate actually did a shit ton of damage to Elise. I did not, not expect her to take that much damage from that ult. So, like, my dang and stuff. But it is what it is. We'll go ahead and I think I should finish this chalice first. And then go for the other stuff. But let's go ahead and teleport back to this lane. Because if I don't teleport, I'm going to miss way too many minions. And that is not going to be very good. But still, we are 19 minions ahead of Kale. It looks like Kale's actually going for either a Yomu's or a Black Cleaver, I guess? I can't think of any other items to build out of Callfields. Um... Yeah, I actually don't know, like, any other items to build out of Callfields off the top of my head. So let's go ahead and, you know, I'm curious, I'll look it up. Yomu's, Warrior Enchantment, Death Stance, Essence Reaver. Apparently there are a lot of items I was totally forgetting. But, uh, I don't know what's the most likely for a Kale to build. Essence Reaver, I guess, would be the one that comes to mind, but I can't really, really, I do, I do three less damage than I need to do to be able to kill the back wave in one set of skills. That's, that's what they call annoying, all right, maybe? Oh, I should be throwing the Qs first, but, ooh, yeah, my man Donut. Picking up the killing spree, but looks like Elise will get a return kill off on the Fizz. Not very good for us, but, you know, it's still okay. Let's go ahead and throw an EQ in the back there. There it is. That'll kill the wave. And I keep forgetting that it's a, um, Ezreal top, too. Unfortunately, Fizz is actually getting dicked by the Ezreal, but on the other hand, that's really not that surprising, so, oh yeah, bro, <laughs> get, get bop of damage off on her there, we'll go ahead and just walk away for a little bit, because there's nothing I really need to, um, be proactively doing at the moment with my teleport down, my ultimate's gonna be up soon, but as far as, you know, most things go, I'm able to just chill back and keep my day going for now, and since we aren't doing super, anything super exciting, the rest of the lanes are, Go ahead and call the Mia, and uh-oh, uh-oh, spotted. Will he live, though? It's looking like he is the Heroic Smash. He is going to get this. The bop, man. Oh, never mind. I totally take it all back. I'm a dirty liar. But it looks like, you know, at least, at least she has no ultimate. So I should be able to just murder her the second I really get an opportunity off her tower. So that's good. That much is good. But uh, I wanted to share a little story with you guys today because I thought it might make you smile like it made me smile. Today, since you guys know, I do have many dogs. Um, and obviously part of having dogs is picking up their poop. And, you know, in the winter, it's hard to go out and pick up all the poop because all the snow and stuff. But for what, whatever reason, it was actually pretty warm outside today. So I went to go pick up the poop. And apparently 
The last time I had picked up the poop outside, I actually had left my uh, my pooper scooper in. Uh oh, uh oh, oh boy! All right, let's go ahead and drop the ultimate here. That's gonna be some good damage, and oh, not gonna be getting the kills though. Anyways, back to story time. I did um, try and <laughs> I had apparently left my um, my pooper scooper inside the bucket and after it rained and snowed and everything it was all filled with water so I went out today it was entirely frozen the entire five gallon bucket was just a solid block of ice with the pooper scooper inside of it so I was like well shit now I have to get this out and I gotta I you know I, I still gotta do my job so I went inside was looking for the ice pig right and I couldn't find the little ice pick that we use, so, you know, in my head I was like, you know what? I bet this would work just fine. I grabbed a little meat tenderizer mallet out of our kitchen drawers, and, uh, well, you know, just a little preface, or preface on this story. That little meat tenderizer is made of aluminum, just so you know, so not a super strong metal. Pretty good metal, but not a super strong metal. Um... And I apparently did not entirely think it through. Because when I was sitting there sm laying the smack down on, these, uh, on this huge chunk of ice, I... Come on, Kale, go away. You've been getting so much camping. It's been very obnoxious, I gotta admit. But while I was laying down the smack down on this huge, huge hunk of ice, I was actually... Um, you know, I, I hit it, I hit it a bunch of times in the same spot, it actually cracked, and I was like, oh, Alright, let's go ahead and give this one solid fucking huge ass whap. So I put all my force, go the fuck away, dude. Get out of here. So I was going in on it, and I went in for the biggest bop of my life on that little chunk of ice, on that huge chunk of ice, as a matter of fact. And, oh, the hook will not land. But... You know, infusing all of my might in the strike of my mallet, I smacked the ice, the head of the mallet flew off. It fucking snapped like peanut brittle, dude. And it just flew off, and I was like, um... So then... Wait, hang on. Hang on, there's a fight busting out, and I should be in it. Uh-oh. Oh, boy. Oh, jeez. And... Alright, come here, little boy! And come... That's gonna be an easy kill. Let's go ahead and pop the W just so we can run on out of here very fast at the speed of sound. And I mean, she might try and get to me, but she's not going to actually kill me at all. She'll do a little damage here, but she, yeah, no chance of killing the Galio. But anyways, after I broke the tenderizer, my dad came home, and we all had a good old giggle about it because obviously, you know, what can you really do at that point, right? I mean, that's that's moderately unfortunate. And what you gonna do? So, we went out to the garage, grabbed the sledgehammer, set the block of ice in the grass, and started beating the shit out of it. The pooper scooper is now out of the ice, and I had the time of my life smashing ice with a sledgehammer. And you know what? That is the whole... You know, that's every bit of the story that I wanted to share with you guys, I gotta admit. So, I mean, literally no point to that story. But I just wanted you guys to know that I was I was having a shitty problem with my pooper scooper and I got to smash a lot of ice with a really big hammer and I had a really good time doing it. So thank you for listening to my awesome story. I'm glad you enjoyed it very well. I mean you probably enjoyed it because I'm really good at storytelling and I'm hilarious. So now that that just took like seven minutes of your time, we can actually get into the exciting parts of this game. Because, with as a Galio, you know, I finally got my items going, I finally got mid tower down, I got shit going for us. And let's see, it looks like, oh, we were right, she was getting the Essence Reaver. So let's go ahead and get these minions. 111 actually is pretty damn good for this time in the game. And do a decent amount of damage there. Look at that pain laying it down on her. And now, I'm gonna miss that one. We do have Thresh coming in. What's up, baby? What's up? Alright. Fight me. Fight me, little munchkin man. Oh, oh, shit. All right, let's do it. Let's go ahead and drop. I said 
So drop the ultimate right here, and kaboom! That's gonna be so much damage. Fizz with the teleport in. Get that red buff. Get that red buff. Oh, he's not gonna get the red buff. So okay, still a big ultimate there. That damage was immense, and it's looking like we will need to get at least one armor item. <clears throat> but lots of damage right there. Donut is going for it. Can he do it? He will. Big glazed donut Ezreal God is on the rampage. And you know what? I think I had a pretty big ultimate there. I will take it. So, that's good. That's good. And let's see here. I might as well go ahead and teleport. And we'll grab this while I'm teleporting out. Because, unfortunately, I didn't have enough, uh, you know, I didn't have enough, like, thinking, bra or, like, brain processing power to grab both parts of my Abyssal Scepter. But that item is spectacularly good on Galio, so we will be going for that. And then I think, you know, I might honestly... I know it sounds crazy, but bear with me for a second. I might actually go for a, um... a Dead Man's Plate. I know it sounds kind of weird, but I'm fully considering this. It looks like, uh-oh, the, oh, there's a pink ward right there that we should probably keep an eye on. So, whoop, bam, look at that damage coming in. The hook will not land, and let's go ahead and keep on doing what Galio does, and what Galio does is consistent damage. So, uh-oh, next coming in, that's going to be a lot of damage right there. It looks like Ezreal did just use his jump, boom, there's going to be some good damage, and let's go ahead and see it. What you going to do? What you going to do when they come for you? What? How'd Nex get that kill? Fucking broken. This video game's broken. Alright, whatever. I don't even give a heck. So let's go ahead and grab this blue buff for me. And you know what? Getting Nex a kill is fine. Totally fine. Get that blue just like that. And we can actually afford our Abyssal Scepter very soon. The enemy team did get a second dragon. But you know what? I got, I got, I had murder on my mind, so, you know, getting murders off, totally fine. And Lee Sin, not making a good choice. What the hell? What is this? You know what? I have seen, I have seen many, uh, you know, Lee Sin supports in my day, but never, ever, have I ever, ever seen a Lee Sin support rush Lord Dominic's regards. So, you know what? Congratulations, Lee Sin. You're officially weird as hell. So, good job. But let's go ahead and see here. I'm actually not even sure if I'm using the right masteries. I'm going to be totally honest with you guys. Because I only chose Galio with, like, a few seconds left on the timer. You know, I was not ready for this pick. So, looking like... Oh, what are you doing? Because if... Oh, whoa. Oh, 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 whoa. Oh, whoa, oh, whoa. And... Oh, shit. All right. You know what? We've been spotted. We've been spotted. All right. Abort mission. Let's see here. Wow. So if someone was in there, they're probably... Oh, that... Yeah, the three-man hole. And, well, still not going to be doing a lot. Dude, those... That thresh play, though, that was pretty cool. And Fizz has gone a little deep, and he's dead. So it looks like... All right, it's up to Donut. And next, the four-man Poppy ultimate. Templar's Verdict, I think it's called. Oh, come on. Oh, Donut. Oh, no. You had... If you had one shot or one opportunity like Big Lays Donut did right there to make massive plays, would you capture it? Or would you just fail miserably in front of everyone who's ever going to see this video like Donut just did? So everyone point and laugh at him because he could have looked really cool there and then he just fucked up. So, I mean, like, you tried. Um, I'll give him, like... I'll give him a C plus for effort there because you know you could tell he kind of you could tell he kind of tried, but the execution was just so severely lacking that uh, you know what what am I doing? I love Gabriel the death. Big Glaze Donut is Gabriel. He is a great guy. I can't even jokingly make fun of him. If you guys don't know who Big Glaze Dickhead is, he is actually another YouTuber and he is a pretty swell guy. But at the end of the day, you know. He had a chance to make a big... No, Thresh is going to get it. All right, good job. He had a chance to make a big play, though, and didn't. So let's see. It looks like she did get a Rylize, but can... You know what? I kind of want to dive it, but I don't think I want to dive it at the same time because there's a Lee Sin right there. And whoop! God, yeah, look at that damage! And Oh, you little... 
My man Thresh stealing the kill. Gotta love it. But the Flash ultimate on two of them will definitely decommission them from a fight. Let's go ahead and heal up a little bit and kabonk! Oh, okay. Jesus, Gabe. That Q damage was nuts. Thought I was gonna be able to get a kill, but nah, son. Gabe just flying in with one true shot. Wait, no, one uh, mystic shot to slay them all. And you're just like, ha ha. Well, <laughs> oh, if that actually hit. I really need to be throwing my Qs first instead of my E. So that's, you know, my own fault. But it looks like, oh no. Oh, jeez. Oh, boy. And boom! There it is! The perfect, perfect little, uh, uh oh, fizz. Oh, wait, no, it's just support Lee Sin. Never mind. I forgot. I messed up. It was just support Lee Sin. Go ahead and give him a bunch of resistances. It looks like the hook will commence. And let's see, maybe the little, you know, speedy thing. Speedy Gonzalez, and let's see it. Uh oh. All right, go ahead and just use the shield thing on ourselves, and whoa! Get me the fuck out of here. I don't want any of this. Oh shit! Is that gonna be a double kill? It is. And you know what? Let's go back, cause I have an idea. I see a ward right there. I see 20 minutes into the game. I see a lot of money on a Galio, and I see my team backing off. So the plan has been. Uh, the, the plan is over. <laughs> That's all there is to it. Plan's done. Plan's off. Call's off. What I was gonna do is I was gonna teleport to this ward and like run at him and then ult and be super cool. But it is what it is. We should get distortion boots soon too. Because distortion boots will actually uh, lower the cooldown of our teleport. Speaking of lowering the cooldown of teleport, well that looks really cool. And I oh god! Sorry, I was looking at my OBS. But when I went like that, like the green screen couldn't keep up so it was like yeah, I don't know, it like, it made my hand look funny, okay? You guys are probably like, what the hell is he talking about? But you might be able to see it in the video, I hope you can, because that was, it made me smile. So I'm also forgetting my trinket here as well. But, uh, you know, that's okay. That's okay. So, oh, hello, ow. Do some good damage there to nothing. Ezreal is coming towards me, it looks like I will get that slow off. And will they? Oh, there he is. Now let's go ahead and wow. Whoop. Go ahead and avoid that. And wow. Oh, not going to get the ultimate off in time. But, you know, I guess I'm not as tanky as I thought I was. Wait, no, never mind. Ezreal just did like a trillion damage to me instantly. And by instantly, I mean over a very short amount of time because he's Ezreal and does a lot of damage. So, with myself dying and, you know, taking the attention of four of them elsewhere, my team did manage to do the good and get the bot lane tower so good job guys there and let's see maybe I can get my loot in Zeko soon never mind 600 gold still teleports up instead of getting that let's go ahead and grab our distortion boots lower the cooldown of that teleport and flash and also what I was thinking was running the uh, cooldown reduction or the summoner cooldown reduction mastery instead of going you know like 12 18 or 18 12 you can go 0 18 12 for the you know for the cooldown thing and let's see oh oh man come on man I wanted that blue really badly actually all right that's okay though that is a okay I don't blame him I'm not doing super hot this game it is not um, you know my best performance on a champion ever but all things considered I am still doing quite a lot of damage to them and let's see, it looks like next, wowza, wowza, let's go ahead and see if we can speed him up a little bit, give him some resistances, and it looks like, oh, okay, so I guess, I guess that's fine, what do you think you, oh, Lee Sin's over here, I was like, what the heck, where was next going, and well, I'm gonna nail him, boop, yeah, there's the little boomerang shield sniper, picking up that kill, good job, next, so, Kale is coming in. Let's go ahead and see if we can just tank that up. Do some good damage there. Decent damage with our little E. Ooh, ooh, is he doing it? Is he doing it? Is Daddy doing it? No, Daddy's not doing it. So, ah, uh, gonna take a little damage there, and that's yeah, that's fine. That is it's just fine. So, ooh, oh, we hooked him, and let's see it. Uh oh, what is going on? Come on, my flash is so soon I can just flash ult him. And bleh. Oh. And bleh. Look at that damage. Oh, the kill ultimate is out of range because he flashed out of it. Oh, boy. What are you doing here, little man? Dying. Good death. Good death. 
So let's see, and maybe... God, I really want to, but I don't want to, like, suicide, man. You know what I'm saying? I just don't want to... I just don't want to suicide, I guess. Alright, let's go get our Luden Zeko. And after Luden Zeko, we're going to go for a Rabidon's Death Cab, because I don't give a heck. I don't even give one heck. So, instead of getting armor like I even remotely considered, we're just going to get full damage. Because, you know... Sounds fun. It honestly just sounds fun to me. So let's see if we can... I wonder if Banner... Yeah, Banner Command Mains do not use Target Sticks. That's one thing I was actually just wondering in my head right there. But, uh, let's see. Oh, 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 baby. Oh, baby. Alright, maybe I should go get in on that. Yeah, I should get in on this. That is a lot of experience that no one is claiming. And as I say, that Gabe is here. Okay. Still got a lot of it. Still got the experience as well, so, you know, it, I'll take it. Definitely worth my little distortion to cool down teleport. And BLAM! Use the damage there. And let's see, 729 gold. Nothing really to grab on this, at this current point in time. Um, I could get an amplifying tome, but, you know, that's not the best use of my time or money at the moment. Because now I could get a um, blasting wand. That'll help even more. So we know they aren't doing LeBron, or else, you know, we would have seen them right there. That actually is a thing. We would have used our eyeballs and seen them. So Ragadoon's Fedora, one-third complete, if you look at the amount of items in it, not, you know, the amount of money spent, but one-third complete. And I gotta ask, I gotta ask, I have been playing a little CSGO to try and, you know, brush up on my Silver 1 skills. And I wanna know, are you guys excited for those videos? Because I've actually had a lot of people ask me where they are. And I gotta admit, very fun to play. But I'm also, I'm also in the mood to just stick it in some people in League of Legends right now. So if I see an opportunity, you bet your sweet hiney I am going to go flying in faster than a rabid spider monkey. And you will, oh, ooh, it is going to be delicious. Do it! And never mind. I was, I was kind of hoping I'd be able to like take him with me, but I did it really late and I misclicked the little thing. So... Maybe? Come on! Come on, group up! Group up! Group up! Yeah, brother! I said group up! Alright, they're not grouping up. But I was able to get a good heal off of those minions. So that is... You know, that's dank! That's nice and dank. So let's see... Oh! 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 Look at that damage! Holy shit! Taking Misfortune out in an instant, and the rest of the team coming in. It looks like Poppy going to smash Ezreal into the wall and just bang his tight little happy butthole into the air. Beating him down. That's going to be another kill. And the ace. Woo! Dude, that damage on Misfortune, though. Holy guacamole, dude. That just... Oh. Oh, man. That made me tingle in ways that I can't even explain. Good lord. It looks like we will get an inflibitor off of that play though, so... You know what? Pat yourself on the back, and That was all you, baby. That was all you. And, ooh, ooh, can I get our blue when I'm... I'm up? Happy... I said happy face! There we go. Happy face. Alright, oh, look at all that top arm of my missing though. It's actually not that much. It's a decent amount, but, you know, it's not that much. So... Looks like Nex wants to race to the blue buff. I mean, he's probably going to win, but I'm going to be getting there relatively, you know, near the same time. So it's okay. It's okay. I ain't too pasta over it. Blap! 700 damage off of that. And let's see. If I can... I actually kind of want to see how much damage I do to her if I just ult. Apparently my ultimate can do up to a, about 1,000 damage right now, and that's... That's pretty gnarly, I gotta admit. So... Oh, yeah, brother, come here. Come at me, yep. Oh, oh, okay, there goes the splash. So, just charging him like a maniac will actually work out pretty well. So, let's see. And, uh, um, Nailed it? Nope, never mind. Oh. Ah, he went that way? Did he, why'd he ward? Come on, man, don't use your abilities. How dare you, I was gonna murder you. I mean, I was gonna murder you gently with my arms and call it a hug. Because I love you. I love you. I love you, Lisa. You know what? I kind of wonder what would work with my W. I kind of wonder how a um, 
how jungle galio would work because that's something i thought about doing before but i've never seen anybody do it myself so let's see if i can just get a sick flank off in here wow go ahead and just get this movement speed avoid the coon and ugh, god i you know if i want to do jungle galio first step is not sucking dick with that ability so boom wow look at that damage come on yeah fucking do it Come on! Man, you know... Ooh, mine. Yes. Yes. We can Baron for sure. So it looks like they are going to drop that on him. But let's see if I can sit right here. Big plays. Big plays. Big plays. Big plays. Yeah, brother! Alright, boom! That's gonna be one kill. And, well... You know, it's not as big as I wanted it to be. Oh, come on! Next! Next! Ugh. Jesus, I do a lot of damage to her. Alright. Oh, are they gonna do it? Are they gonna do this? Oh, the flash! Hook and woo! Get the ultimate off in here! Let that wear off! It didn't wear off at the right time, but you know what? Just sitting here. What is he for? What is he flashing for? What were you flashing for, you silly goose? What are you doing? What are you thinking flashing like that, you silly willy? Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and teleport onto this minion just to let it tank a lot more. Get myself into the fray! And that... Well, actually, that's gonna be the end of the game. 5, 6, and 19. Most assists in the entire game. Galileo, the man. And it looks like that's gonna be coming out. Let's see. Is he gonna do it? No, he's not. He ain't gonna do it. And the hook will not land either. Can we land that? We cannot land that. Looks like, oh, we will hit him. And, oh, end of the game. Dude, Galio's silly. I'm really, really bad with him, though. Like, I'm weirdly bad with him. That's okay. You know, that is a-okay. Hey, look, you guys can see what I was trying to change my masteries on. Here's the mastery page I used on uh, Galio if you wanted to see it. So there you go. <laughs> That's the fun thing. But exiting out of that, S minus that game, 244 CS in a 31 minute game. Not bad at all on that. And, oh yeah, most damage done to the champion, yeah, bruh. Alright, great job, us. That'll be the end of that game, though. So, if you guys did enjoy that like I did, I actually, I actually had a very good time in that game, in all honesty. And I'm probably, if my internet's going to hold up, I'm probably going to go grind some more ranked now that uh, this is done. But... If you did enjoy this video, do make sure you leave a, leave a like and a favorite. It really does help me out. If you want to, you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, or Twitch. All three links will be in the description below. And as always, I love you guys. Be a wonderful day. Peace!